Remember, guys, we will be doing multiple Destiny 2 giveaways, so make sure you like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. The links are in the description below. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys the best strategies that we use to carry people in the Vosik Challenge and the Axis Challenge, plus a couple of the new Adept Elemental Primaries that you want to look out for. And trust me, guys, these weapons you're going to want to have. Now, before we get into this video, I wanted to try something new. Now, granted, you guys want to get into the Destiny 2 beta code giveaway, so make sure you follow the steps in the beginning of the video. But I want to drop one more thing. Now, I was lucky enough to get one last Eye of the Eternity code for you guys and instead of giving it away in a video what I want to do is I want to give it away on Twitter so first I want you guys to like this video and then what we're gonna do is at 5,000 followers on Twitter I'm going to tweet out the code so it's up for grabs for anybody so what you guys need to do is you need to follow our Twitter it's at real TKO gaming or look in the description below you can connect with us on all our social media and you want to turn notifications on so when I do make that tweet you know it you get to it and you can utilize it first and guys you're not gonna want to miss this if it does go well we're gonna make sure that we do a lot more maybe even drop a destiny code giveaway on twitter or some different social media so make sure you connect with us on all everything is in the description below now let's get into this video so let's quickly talk about what we're doing in this fight we're gonna talk about vasic first we'll talk about axis and then i'll talk to you guys about the two elemental primaries that are a must-have you don't want to miss those two weapons now let's go ahead and talk about this fight you want to have two people on the left two in the middle two on the right guys if you know how to do this it's pretty damn simple you do the ad killing you do the ball damage phase you do it three times and then you go forth and you damage the boss and then you run into your rooms you hide in the corner you come back out you do it again now the cool thing is is when it is challenge mode during that damage phase on the boss, it drops two extra balls. What you want to do with those two extra balls is you want to shove it up. I'm just kidding. You want to just pick those balls up and you want to go over to the two rooms that are lit and you want to shut those two rooms down with those balls. Meaning when you do close that gate, you hit the ball on the gate to close it. You don't want to shoot it with your weapon. You can to weaken it, but you ultimately want to make sure it closes with the ball damage. Now I'm doing this raid on this video as a 390 light. And honestly, guys, it's not going to be much different. Do it as a 390 or up. You should be fine. You want to make sure that you do this in three waves total. So first wave, you shut down two rooms. The next wave, you shut down the next two rooms. And the third wave, you kill Vosik. You're going to see us doing it here. It's not the full video. If you want to see the full challenge guide, make sure you check out recent videos in the Real TKO Gaming. When this raid first came out, we made the best in detail challenge guides for you guys. But what you want to do is you want to make sure you want to get it done in three waves. You want to do it together as a team and you want to stay positive guys remember that okay and i would recommend running self res on a warlock make sure you have those damage supers like tethers weapons of light bubbles and do not panic and remember to take your time and just communicate communication is absolute key let's go ahead and move on over to axis this is obviously the harder challenge it's still not that tough but it is the harder challenge now for axis what you want to do is you want to once again have two people on the left two people in the middle, two people on the right. And essentially what you want to do is you want to go ahead and prepare because the challenge mode for Axis is that in between the phases of when Axis does teleport to one side or the other, there's going to be a platform that you have to go slam on and supercharge. And you can only do that if you are empowered. Now, what you want to do is you want to have each individual on the left, middle and right. Now, keep in mind when Axis does go ahead and go to one side, let's say Axis goes to the right, you will not have to empower slam the right side. You'll only have to empower slam the middle or the left but you want to make sure you hit that empowerment every single time you cannot mess that up okay so keep that in mind so the most important thing is communication communication is very key and understanding calling out hey i'm empowered in middle i'm empowered on right i'm empowered on left and then when access does teleport you call out access to the right and that way you'll know that either your platform if you're in middle or left platform is a platform that needs to get shut down now i will link both 
Vosik and Axis hard mode challenges in the description below in case you guys want a full detailed run through. It is TKO Gaming videos. Trust me guys, we have easily carried more than 10,000 people in Destiny when it comes to raids. Trials of Osiris easily, oh, Trials of Osiris were almost at 4,000 carries and we actually do keep track. Yeah, laugh at us if you want. But we have carried so many people in everything. Challenges, strikes, nightfalls, over and over again, all the raids in Destiny. We do come up with the best 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 strategies or if someone else has a good strategy we'll take it and we'll make it better i mean that's what it's all about right being the best that you possibly can helping others out so thank you guys so much for the love and support i really hope this video does help you out for this fight you want to make sure that those two people on each side you want to have a sword to take out those captains really quick and what you want to do is you want to call out constantly hey the void servitors on the right and if you guys don't know the platform that the servitors go and sacrifice on those are the platforms that light up and that you have to empower slam for the challenge so one of those are the ones that light up if you guys did not know so keep that in mind guys i really hope this quick refresher video helped you out it really was just meant for a refresher i hope it does help you guys get prepared to get those elemental primaries and that reminds me we gotta talk about those elemental primaries now the first one i would say get no matter what is the void pulse rifle i believe it's called the steel medulla my god dude it's the first void pulse rifle in destiny imagine the damage that thing's gonna do it's great it's like the same archetype as the red death it's gonna do massive damage and it has a pretty fast rate of fire as well along with a pretty good reload and that scout rifle that you see me using is the chaos dogma i think that's what it's called and that is the one that's going to come in arc so you want to get those two void and arc and then the genesis chain is going to be the auto rifle that's going to come in solar i believe it is going to be arguably the best auto rifle to get so overall i believe that the weapons in the wrath of the machine in their elemental primary form arguably some of the best out of all of them so keep those in mind guys i really hope this video does does help you guys bring you that refresher if you haven't joined the tko gaming family make sure you hit that subscribe button down below what are you waiting for honestly what are you waiting for we're going to be coming out with destiny videos every single day we're going to be coming out with destiny 2 beta destiny 2 game other awesome games see us on our live stream guys we carry people there if you don't believe us check us out everything is in the description below and trust me you guys can find us anywhere on all social media all platforms all you have to do is type in real tko gaming no spaces i love you guys so much i really hope you guys have a beautiful easter sunday if you're celebrating otherwise have a beautiful weekend guys have a great week ahead can't wait to come out with some awesome videos for you guys we do have a couple great videos coming up and i love you guys we'll see you in the next one peace